Hello my friends! It is lovely to virtually see you again. I wanted to take a little minute to show you something really cool that I noticed in my garden over the weekend. This week, if you look on our distance learning website, you'll see that there's an activity about the life cycle of a plant um, and you can find some games and some videos, even some dances done by second graders at a different school to teach you a little bit about the plant life cycle and why it's important. I wanted to show you the plant life cycle in action happening in my backyard. So I'm going to be taking you through that today and doing a little bit of a seed pod dissection. No. Before I do that though, I figured we could do a little bit of breathing. Today's breathing is going to be interactive. You're going to use your whole body. So, make sure that you have plenty of space. Let's go. Sun makes it look like I have no head. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, for today's breathing exercise, we're going to be going through all six stages of the plant life cycle. With each stage, we're going to breathe in and back out. We're only going to go through this exercise one time, so feel free to rewind the video and do it twice. It feels good. We're going to start off as little baby seeds. So as you sink down into your seed, I just want you to take a big deep breath in and breathe out. Next, we're going to move into germination. Germination is when a seed gets ready to form or grow into a tiny, tiny plant. So as you breathe in, imagine that you're the tiny plant breaking through the seed coat. Breathe out as you grow teeny, tiny roots. So this time we're going to begin to sprout. So breathe in and you're going to slowly stand up as you're sprouting. And breathe out to grow some leaves. Awesome. This time we're going to continue to grow taller. So bring your hands up as you grow into a mature plant. Breathe in. Awesome. Now as a mature plant, you're going to grow some flowers. So as you breathe in, you're going to bring your hands close to your face like a flower. And breathe out. Last but not least, you're going to turn into a fruit. So you're going to breathe in. Form your fruit. And breathe out and release your seeds. And that is the plant life cycle. Now that we practiced our breathing and some slow body movements, let's help our body to feel happy and fulfilled by moving a little bit faster. I think that both types of movement, slow and fast, are both ways that we can get our brains and our bodies ready for learning. So, I'm going to teach you a little dance that talks about four parts of a plant that you would see during different parts of a plant's life cycle. Let's do it together. Okay, for this dance, we are going to start slow while we're learning, and then we're going to see if we can go as fast as possible. Ready? We're going to go through these four plant parts. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, and I'm a fruit. It rhymes. It's like a poem. Okay, so we're going to start off like this. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. This time, faster. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. This time, fastest. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. I'm a seed, I'm a root, I'm a stem, I'm a fruit. That was difficult. Can you go even faster? If your brain learns best through movement, kind of like mine does, then look for another example of how to learn about the life cycle of a plant on the gardening tab of the distance learning website. Some second graders actually came up with a really cool song and dance to do the six parts of the life cycle, and they performed it 
they don't go to our school, but they have a lot to teach us. So check out that link on the activity list if you want to give that a try. And maybe you could come up with a dance of your own. In our dance just now, we went through about four stages of the life cycle, but we were mostly just talking about the parts of a plant that were developed during that part of a plant's life cycle. If you were in kindergarten or first grade this year, we spent a lot of time talking about the different parts of a plant and what they do for a plant. If you were in second, third, fourth, or fifth, I'm sure that you talked about this with Miss Lizzie or Miss Charlie in the past. So some of the stages that we went through, we started with our seed, and that is the first stage of a life cycle for a plant. We have a seed, and then that seed does something called germinate. As a seed germinates, the tiny baby pieces of a plant that are inside of the seed get ready to grow. It's kind of like when you're a baby and you're inside the, your mom's tummy, right? You're sort of germinating and getting ready to grow. After we go through germination, then our plant starts to grow roots it starts to grow stems and it begins to sprout. As it sprouts, it matures into a grown-up plant and that grown-up plant produces, in some plants, flowers. Once a flower is pollinated, it can become a fruit or it can become a seed pod. When a seed pod or a fruit is formed, it actually holds, like a suitcase, a bunch of seeds. Eventually, that fruit pod will be eaten or it will be crusty and it will fall off of the plant and those seeds will be spread out again. And if you notice, we're back at seed. That's why we call this a cycle because we go from seed to roots, growing stems like that mature flower, growing fruits, popping open and becoming a seed again. Are you ready to check out a real life life cycle? one seed pod at a time. <laughs> okay, so I was playing around in my garden the other day trying to help my housemate harvest some greens for salad. We've got some lettuce right here. Right here. Up here. <laughs> and I noticed that my arugula plant over here had some interesting looking pods. Part of the plant has flowers that look like this. And eventually those flowers become pollinated by different creatures of the garden and they grow into these seed pods that you see here. I'll pick one for you. Here they are. Do you want to take a look inside? Let's see. If we take a look inside of our seed pod, thanks for letting us do this arugula plant. We appreciate you you can see but there's just these little baby formations of what will be a seed one day right there by my finger this is called a plant embryo right here so this seed pod is not fully formed it's still nice and young and juicy and so inside what we see are these embryos of a plant they're not quite seeds yet inside of the embryo we have the pieces that will one day grow into a giant, mature, um, new plant. So it's kind of like a little covering. And if you look under the covering, you can find ooh, little baby seeds. I mean, little baby plants, sorry. Right here. <laughs> one thing that I really love when I dissect, which means to take apart these seed pods, I don't know if you can tell from here, but there's like a white padding all around the inside of them. It's kind of like a bedding. Wow, there's a little embryo. <laughs> it's kind of like a bedding for the baby seeds as they get harder and as they form. So inside of this seed pod, it's protecting. Do you see that white bedding that holds the seed as it forms and hardens? to get ready to spread out into the world. So interesting. Pew. I was looking for pods that were ready to be harvested, um, which means that the little plants inside have really hardened inside of the seed shell. And I was having a hard time finding ones that were ready. The cool thing about gardening is you have to pay really close attention. And so 
I've been coming out here every day to check on the pods and see what, when they're ready. I've noticed that it seems like as they start to turn white, like this one, um, they start to be more ready. So these green seed pods are not quite ready, but these whiter seed pods are a little bit more ready. And when you look inside, wow, this one's really cool. When you look inside, you'll notice that the seed looks a little bit more formed. Let me see if I can get it better. The seed looks a little bit more formed than what we might have seen in some of the other seed pods. So this seed I can actually hold in my fingers like this. It doesn't have that same shell um, carrying the embryo or the baby plant inside. The baby plant is protected by the, whoa, oh no, by the seed. My favorite thing about these seed pods is that you can munch on them. Mmm, spicy. I also wanted to show you some of the other stages of a life cycle that I found in my backyard. My housemate planted a few seeds about three weeks ago and they have moved past the germination stage and into a stage of sprouting. So, if we take a peek here, these are some mystery seeds that I found in my compost bin and they're starting to sprout with these little baby leaves. Um, and all of the baby leaves are pretty similar on most plants. As they continue to sprout though, they have mature leaves that pop out from the center and they often look different depending on the type of plant. So here I've got some squash. And if you look, you can see these round leaves. These were the leaves when it sprouted, it's baby leaves. And then as it started to mature, we can see a more unique leaf shape. So here are the more unique squash leaves. And here are the leaves from when this squash plant first sprouted. Here we have a weed that's sprouting. Those pesky things. Next, I'll show you, thank you, squash my assistant teacher I'll show you a few more here oh this one's cool it has two types of plants in it so here we have basil and if you look you can see that it has these more um, light sprouting baby leaves and then here are its mature leaves that it's just starting to grow they're a little bit thicker they have more texture here we have some tomato plants. You can see here that they have these smaller, thin baby leaves, and they're starting to grow their mature leaves, which have a different kind of pattern, which is really interesting. All right, my friends, thank you for helping me to dissect some seed pods and notice a piece of this arugula plant's life cycle. I'm really excited because I think when we get back to school, a lot of our plants will be at this stage of their life cycle. So hopefully we can do some dissections together. Until then, look at the plants around you. See if you can figure out what part of the life cycle those plants are in. Are they flowering yet? Are they just a little baby seed or a sprout? Do they have seed pods or fruits? Stay curious, stay wonderful. I love you. See you soon. This is so crazy. This just in. I was about to go inside from my wonderful adventure in the garden and I looked down at my feet and guess what I saw? Dun, dun, dun. A bone. What's going on in my garden? It looks like there are more than just plant life cycles occurring here.